Hey guys, currently I'm on day four without any chewing tobacco snuff. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a video that recaps how it was my uh, first, second, and third day without it because um, I didn't get a chance to make those videos and it'd be weird just to make them separate as if I'm on those days. I'm just gonna make them all together. Um, the first day it was, I woke up, I, I quit the night before. So actually if you wanna add a half day to all my days, that's how long I've been off of it. I stopped about two o'clock in the afternoon the day before. So I woke up that day next day um, it was fine because I went to work <clears throat> and it doesn't bother me as long as I'm going to work um, in the mornings I don't I don't need snuff I don't crave it just because I've never did while I was at work or anything so <clears throat> so I get to work and I'm fine I get off work and then it just starts gnawing at me it's bad like it's just this crazy anxiety stress uh, physical symptoms I came home that day and I remember I just fell asleep like I was just depressed almost like I just fell asleep and I didn't wake up for like an hour and a half got up I ate a bunch of candy I've been having weird sweet cravings just to, something to get me over it I've been drinking a lot of coffee something to kind of help me I guess I'm not getting any nicotine gum I'm not doing any of that I'm not no patches nothing um, I'm just straight up you know quitting um, day two, a lot of the same, a lot of misery. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. It's it's really horrible. It's it's all mental, but uh, you know, there's not very much physical problems with it. But it just sucks. Like it just gnaws at your brain. It's like an itch you can't scratch. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. It's it's a weird feeling. It's like an emptiness. And it's horrible. I feel so stupid and guilty when I feel that way. Like, oh my god, I just need dip. Like, so nasty. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's just really gross. I, I don't know. I just, I really want to get, kick this habit. Not just about this dipping, you know. I, I smoked for two and a half years and I quit that cold turkey. Took me a couple weeks to get over that. Then I picked up dipping because I was drinking and I needed tobacco while I drank. It was just something I had to have started dipping and now I dipped for two and a half years so now I'm quitting um, I got a baby on the way it's one of the reasons I don't want to dip I just it's it's nasty it's not good for my teeth my gums are already receding I can't even see tell you can see I just teeth right here gums kind of going back a little bit so I want to stop this now while I can um, it's not a it's not a good thing it's not exactly attractive um, it's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your health overall. There's a lot of different things. It's not good for uh, So I'm, I'm quitting and it's been hard. It's tough. If you're quitting anything, don't give up um, If you're quitting now, you're, there's a good chance, you know, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're thinking about quitting so um, It's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really tough um, But you got to stick with it. I pray to God. I ask him. I don't know if you're religious or not, but you know that helps me um, I do a lot of praying. I, I try to keep myself busy. Um, I cleaned the whole house the other day, listening to music on my on my phone. And, you know, and just and then all the way up until bedtime, I cleaned for like three and a half hours, and that helped me pass time. Um, but it's it's really tough. It's a long journey, and I, I still got a long ways to go. I'm hoping that by the time a week and a half or two weeks get here, I don't have any of these like cravings. You know, but I haven't put myself in situations. I haven't had a beer yet. I quit beer. Uh, going on three weeks ago now so I don't know what it's like if I was to ever have a beer again I know it sucks because I every time I've ever drank I've like needed tobacco but I don't know if that wears off after you haven't had tobacco in general for a long time but I guess we'll just have to see um, what else I crave it whenever I play uh, whenever I watch football whenever I play Call of Duty games anything uh, anything where I'm just kind of sitting around being entertained I, I feel like I want dip but I, I, I like dip when I'm doing yard work. I, I don't know, man. I just, I was a big sucker for dip, like snuff. Like, gosh, man, I was just a, a big fool for it. So, I mean, I'm quitting it. I want to. It's hard to imagine life without it, just like it is with any addiction. You know, anything that you're addicted to, it's hard to imagine a life without it. Um, I same. I felt the same way about cigarettes. I couldn't imagine my life without smoking cigarettes. And then I stopped, and I didn't do it for two weeks. And I looked back, and I was like, man, that's the nastiest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm embarrassed. Ugh. Just the thought of having a cigarette made me want to choke so or throw up. 
So hopefully that's the way I feel about dip in the near future or future, whatever. So anyways, um, if you got any, you know, words of wisdom, leave them down below. Um, if you're trying to quit something, you know, if you have any questions or support, I'm here. Um, we can do this together, you know. Um, it helps whenever you're held accountable and it helps when you have somebody to talk to about all this stuff. So um, I'm putting this online, so, uh, you know, I got to follow through. I'm not going to look like an idiot on YouTube for quitting. Whatever happened to your progress? You stop making videos on your progress. I'm still doing good. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't know. But anyways, guys, I got to go. I got I to gotta get out of here. I got to go home and I'm going to get me a cup of coffee and try to get my mind off this. And that's it. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.